Alright, hello Riven mains and Yasuo mains alike. I'm the Nightwing coming at you guys with another League of Legends video from Way of Life Esports. I'm still going to have to try and get that all together in a culmination of a, you know, entire video per se. But there's just a little bit of League of Legends news going on right now. Obviously, I still have the LCK and the LPL gauntlet uh, to go through talking about that actually that's going to be more content for you guys there hasn't really been a lot of league of legends news surrounding the scene personally uh there was the big you know 80 something thousand viewers that watched the lec finals across multiple different platforms i feel like that was really well done a lot of people have been really interested in the league of legends scene since Fnatic had made the world finals last year and eu made their stomp at the world championship as one of the best regions in the world and Obviously, there's something that I'm going to address really, really quick before I actually go over any of this news personally. So I did my TSM video last night, and then I uploaded it uh, today to give my personal opinions on TSM. Like I said before, I'm going to be giving more personal opinions about TSM in a future podcast video that I'm going to be doing already. League League to Me podcast should be returning this week, actually. No guarantees, but uh, obviously that's not going to stop. I know some people had said, what happened to that? Um, partner got sick. I got really, really busy. Things just went a little crazy uh, over the last week. But yes, it is returning and it's not ever going to stop. I love doing podcasts. You guys know me. Uh, obviously, I love talking as much about League as I specifically can. So, I never said in the TSM video, and this is out of my own mouth, I never said TS Bier Bierkson was playing for 100 Thieves. What did I say? I said a subscriber asked a question in the reverse sweep clutch video that I did, he asked, what do you think about Bjergsen joining 100 Thieves? Because that has been a question amongst a lot of teams. I don't know why specifically it's 100 Thieves, but I obviously if he went to any single org, that would obviously be a big move in general. Probably one of the biggest roster moves across any of the major regions in the last uh, year or so, even bigger than Jensen going to Team Liquid and even bigger than Caps going to G2, just because of how storied Bjergsen actually is. Please do not put words in my mouth. I never said Bjergsen was playing for 100 Thieves. I, that, would, that doesn't even sound correctly. What I said was a subscriber asked a question in a previous video and I answered it in, in the TSM video since it, was something, since it was something I was going to cover anyway. So there you go. Also, if you find it uncomfortable to listen to me, well, I have the easiest solution to that. You could just not watch the video. End of discussion. I never said Bjergsen was playing for 100 Thieves. What I said was, subscriber asked a question, and then I answered it in a video. And then I piled in more stuff about TSM because I might as well. I'm already talking about TSM in a specific video. Might as well just lead it into you that type of suggestion so yes to all the haters out there who don't like what i'm doing whatever it happens you're going to get a line of haters who can't open their ears can't listen properly it happens but i'm not even too worried about it so let's talk about the league of legends news surrounding the scene so far splice facing internet issues in preparation for the 2019 lec regional finals Splice's League of Legends team has cited several internet issues leading up to their crucial matches in the 2019 LEC Regional Finals from September 13th to the 15th. Practicing online is essential for any professional league team because it allows for imperative uh, preparation and prep and practice for upcoming tournaments. The LEC Regional Finals is a is in a gauntlet format, so it's especially important since the top two teams will qualify for the World Championship for 2019. Splice's strategic coach Duke reported these issues on Twitter, saying that he and his team have been without internet for several days. Splice lost over two weeks of full practice throughout the summer split because of this issue. And then here's the tweak from Duke. Day five this is what Duke says from Splice, the head coach of Splice. Nobody's saying, nobody's putting words into his mouth. And this is not me putting words into his mouth. This is what he's saying in a tweet. Duke says in this tweet, day five, still no internet. We don't know if we will still be alive for Gauntlet. Jokes aside, I don't understand how one of the biggest esports uh, league, league is in the world stays in effing Berlin. This split we lost more than two weeks full of practice because of internet being down the internet issue hasn't just affected splice however uh 
Moose, the vice president of the competitive performance for Misfits Gaming, cited the same problems. He said that his Vodafone line is constantly disconnecting, and then he t- replies to a tweet that Duke sent out. Our Vodafone line constantly DCs. We've switched some things around so Office is still usable, but it's effing awful. Splice's opponents are even having issues. Shaka's top laner, Oda Wamne, has experienced his own internet problems. He said that he and his team don't receive an internet connection for half the time they play. That's ridiculous. It's imperative that teams receive stable connections when practicing for a crucial tournament. Splice will play Origin in the first round of the gauntlet on September 13th. If they win, they'll move to face Schalke. A victory in that series would secure Splice a playoff spot at Worlds. So yeah, Fnatic and G2 are already qualified. They're playing for seeding against Fnatic. The team that gets to the team that actually even beats Schalke is going to make it to World or if Schalke, you know, beat whoever they face and obviously it's pretty simple to figure out. And that's pretty much it for the line of this. I don't know. Yeah, that is really interesting to the fact of that league is as big as it is. And it is in Berlin. And they are having connectivity issues. I mean, internet is not, you know, the most, I would say, secure thing in the world. There's always going to be connectivity issues with power lines and how the cities ran and how they deal with that. But overall, they should probably contact the uh, LEC, you know, main office and see that, hey, we're a professional team. We're paying all of this money, you know, being in this space. Uh, could we have some good Internet? That that Having good Internet is the least that you should be asking for as a competitive team in League of Legends. But that's the least that they can do is give you an answer as to why you're having an Internet uh, problem. So... If Splice fail out of the gauntlet, then this is probably going to be a problem that we're going to come back to and look at in terms of what else has happened for these teams that have caused them to basically fall down. Uh, Splice were not bad, and then maybe maybe having these internet problems is a reason why they started to fall apart because it was just so random that they were started losing games all of a sudden, but... Who knows? It's just speculation at the end of the day. I hope they get their internet issues fixed. Uh, And this is something that most people have probably already seen if you follow him on Twitter like I do. I follow most of the competitive players. Uh, Dardock is a free agent right now. He is going to be exploring his options. He tweeted this uh, shortly, uh, I think a couple days ago. Uh, Dardock, he played for Optic Gaming's, uh, you know academy team he played on the lcs squad with crown for a little bit uh but he's pretty much trolled in his time on optic academy obviously optic academy is going to be turning into probably immortals infinite you know immortals academy or whatever uh when immortals get their way back into the uh you know league for next year immortals most likely are going to be changing the roster up that's just how you know when new uh brands come in they usually try to change some stuff up maybe keep a player and then if they keep that old player and it doesn't work out they bring in a new player we've seen enough of this happen with a lot of new orgs that come into league but immortals is not a new org they've been here before they i'm pretty sure they know what to do it'd be really interesting if they could actually actually have the same impact they did way back in 2016 spring when they went 17 and 1 but i don't know specifically if That will be the case with this. But I do hope that Dardock gets a team. He's a free agent. Uh, Please don't go to TSM. Please do not go to TSM. Oh my god, Dardock, do not go there. I will not respect that decision. And last bit of news is G2 Esports. My boys, the G2 Army, announces a multi-year partnership with Red Bull. Berlin-based organization G2 Esports has announced a multi-year partnership with energy drink brand Red Bull. The deal will the deal will kick off this weekend with G2 Esports team uh, Counter Strike Rainbow Six Siege showcasing the Red Bull logo on their jerseys. I need to get that jersey. That jersey looks lit. Additionally, Red Bull and G2 Esports create content and host a on-site activate Activisions uh, at both booth of the LEC in Athens and the Star Ladder Berlin Major, including 1v1s and meet and greets. Basically, they, they partnered up with Red Red Bull. I mean, we've seen Red Bull partner up with Kingzone, Cloud9. I've seen them on Vitality's jerseys. 
Uh, and, and then obviously this is not the first time they've actually even collaborated. They've always collaborated. It is just finally time and finally good to see that you know they've actually just okay. You're a good brand. You you're winning. You won MSI. You won back to back splits. You're gonna go to Worlds as a perennial favorite to win the tournament. And you're a good org. We want to have our you know logo on. You're a great org. So I think that it's good for them to have partnered up. And that's pretty much it for all all of the league news. So see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe. Most of all, enjoy. I'm the Nightwing. Wave of Esports is signing out. Peace. Peace out. That is a girl that just messaged me, probably. Or it's probably a dude. I don't know. XD lol. Peace out. Also, one, one thing I'll say is that don't put words in people's mouth. I never said Bjergsen was going to 100 Thieves. What I said was a subscriber asked a question. I answered it in a video. And if you don't like why, why watching my league videos, here's the best answer for you. Don't watch. There you go. But other than that, I'm not going to create the atmosphere here where, you know, we're bringing in negative comments or negative people. I literally am just going to kick you out. I'm not going to deal with that here. That can happen on Loco Doko's channel. That can happen on Thorin's channel. That can happen on the Dive podcast because they don't, you know, monitor comments. That can happen on Euphoria's podcast. I'm not going to tolerate negative comments here that are literally putting words in my mouth that I've never even said. It's not going to happen here. It will not happen. I will guarantee you it will not happen here. So we're we're, we're going to be positive here and bring up positivity and be real and honest with our opinions and not fanboy and overrate players like people and casters do because that's just a thing to do. I've never been a person to overrate a player because of a certain situation. I need to see a more full, well-rounded player in my own personal take with that. But I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have a good day. You guys, you guys are awesome. Uh, LCK and LPL Gauntlet videos coming up in, in the next couple of days. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi guys, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff.